Do you love your partner but feel like you just need a break sometimes? Or do you feel guilty for taking a break or even just bringing it up might start a huge fight with your partner? I'm Christina Moffitt. I'm Joe Moffitt. AKA Team Moffitt with Master Life by Design. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about relationship breaks and are they good and or healthy? So we've both coached thousands of people around the world mm -hmm. and a lot of people come to us because of relationship coaching, because yeah. of the <laughs> marriage that they see that we have on social media and how we don't just share our highlight reel, but we actually keep it real yeah. where we share, you know, the struggles and the challenges in our marriage and our mm -hmm. relationship and even raising our kids, right? Yeah. We just want to make sure people know that we're not some pedestal, uh, uh, excuse me, we're not some couple on this pedestal. We're normal just like you, right? And so a lot of people, they think when we talk about um, breaks within a relationship, they're like, oh no, that means like we're not doing well, like things are going to be <laughs> bad, like th that means we're going down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. And I want to challenge your way of thinking. See, that's how most people think of it. But how we think of it is that it's actually healthy for you. It's actually really good to have those breaks. And you might sit there and say, Joe, well, why would it be great to have like a break in your relationship, right? Like if you love each other, don't you want to be with them all the time? Well, we've been married going on six years now. And some of you have been married probably longer than us. And you're like, no, I need my <laughs> damn break from my partner. And I'm here to tell you, it's very healthy. Yeah, and let's face it, with COVID, so many more people are working from home and they're in much more closer proximity to each other. And so we we'll even mm. share with you how you can take healthy breaks despite not being able to travel as much as you used to. So why do we believe it's healthy? Because first and foremost, everyone needs their own personal space. If you're an extrovert or you're an introvert, it doesn't really matter, you need it. Extroverts, they love mm -hmm. being with other people. Introverts, they love being alone. But you need your cup filled and however you go about doing that is extremely important. Because if you're always emptying your cup, you're never gonna have anything to give to the relationship, mm -hmm. right? And so we, will, we do it with the intention mm -hmm. that it's gonna actually make us stronger, yeah. right? And so you wanna be able to fill your cup first. And one of the other reasons why we do breaks is because I want to miss him, right? We've been married for six going on seven years and I want to feel like we felt in the beginning where you just can't get enough of your partner and you crave them and you desire them. Like we like that feeling in our relationship. I love it. And <laughs> I will tell you, I was laughing because as much as I love this girl, <laughs> we're five going on six, but she said six going on seven. So I'll take it because I love her. It's so awesome. I just had to share. Sorry guys. We just want to keep it real with you. <laughs> All right. So that's the first thing is we got to understand that these relationship breaks are actually good. They're healthy. They fill your cup up, right? You do it because you want to miss the other person, right? Because if you're with them all the time, then it, you guys can get tired of each other. It can be frustrating at times, right? So a great way to take breaks is to think about what fills your cup, right? What are some hobbies that you have? What are some interesting things that you could do with your time? Even if it's just for growth and personal development, or even if it's just taking the space to do nothing at all, right? Guys, you might like, playing video games or playing golf or going to the gym and working out. These are just like little everyday things, everyday things that you can do to take your space. Um, but think about what hobbies you might want to build, like some things you've always wanted to do that you might be able to do. And so one of the things that we like to do, for example, is her mom and family's in California. Mm -hmm. And so we sometimes will have her pre-COVID, this yeah. was, but we would actually have uh, Christina take the boy, mm -hmm. our boys, mm -hmm. we'll say boys, we have two now, right? But then we only had one, right? Our oldest, Joseph Mackay. And she would take Joseph Mackay to California and spend a weekend with the family, Thursday through or Monday. Longer, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, like a week maybe, depending. Mm -hmm. But definitely over a weekend period, like a Thursday night to a Monday morning or Sunday mm -hmm. evening. And we would go that time and I would be able to go snowboarding or go golfing with my buddies or work on the house or the yard that I love to do or, you know, work on some business stuff. And she would spend quality time with family and visit mm -hmm. friends and get her hair done, yeah. right? <laughs> And so we would, we want to intentionally spend a significant period of time away. So I would say in a weekend is a good place to start. Mm -hmm. You could do maybe up to a week, depending on your life, life circumstances. We have the ability to earn income anywhere in the world. So we, we have that luxury. You might not have that. And so plan like a weekend. Yeah, you want to have some for a day by day, but you also want to have some where it's like a, a weekend. 
Yeah, and we don't do this every weekend, right? So, so. how long would you suggest, how often for people? Um, maybe once a quarter, <laughs> like, yeah. I, don't I know. mean, we would do it twice once, a once a quarter to yeah. twice a year, depending on the situation, yeah. For the longer stretches. Yeah, the longer mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. Um, but definitely, even a day can be healthy, right? Yeah. Like, if you don't have kids, like, Maybe you do need to go snowboarding with your buddies and, you know, maybe do a spa day with your girlfriends or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. But you definitely want to have that extended period of time because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the intention is to miss your partner. Yeah. I can't tell you when I, when I see them at the airport, when I pick them <laughs> up, like I'm like, a, I'm like giddy again from the first time I picked her up at the airport yeah. when we first met. Like I was just so excited. And yeah. so reliving that experience mm -hmm. keeps the relationship fresh and healthy. Think of it like this. If, you, if you're constantly with your partner for years on end, nothing's wrong with that, mm -hmm. but that's kind of like a house that hasn't been cleaned, right? <laughs> it just kind of like collects dust and it, it's just like, eh. But when you leave and then you guys come back with the intention to be stronger, it's kind of like the house is clean and it's, you know, mopped and it's dusted and everything is just amazing and, you know, fresh. That's what you're, that's what you're after, right? Yeah. And some of you might be asking, well, what about COVID, right? We can't travel, we can't do those things. What would you suggest that they do for this? You know, things are starting to open up now, but mm -hmm. you know, maybe for me, I just got the other day to go snowboarding for the day with my buddies, right? Mm -hmm. My mother-in-law flew in town, spent some time mm -hmm. uh, with Christina. And so I got to go snowboarding and she got quality time with her mom, right? And so yeah. I know too that I, she's going to want to go spend quality time with her mom without the kids. And I'm going to take the kids for yeah. a couple hours while they go hang out. Or so. I like to go shopping. And so, again, things are that open. Too. We're in Idaho. Yeah. So this is like another world over here. Like <laughs> things are open. You can go shopping. You can do those things. So um, we take full advantage. <laughs> yeah. All right. So number three, the last thing is you want to plan and schedule this ahead of time. Yeah. Not to the point where you're just like, I'm so tired of you. I need a freaking break. Let's do this, you know, this break in our relationship, right? Mm -hmm. If you do it with, on those terms, yeah, your relationship, the direction it's going <laughs> is backwards, not forwards, yeah. right? So I would plan it, right? Plan your day. Sometimes I'm like, hey, on the weekend, go take a few hours, go shopping, mm -hmm. go enjoy, and I'll take the boys, right? Mm -hmm. We plan that so she can get her cup full. She said, hey, when my mom comes into town, why don't you invite your guys to go snowboarding? And we did, like that was to fill my cup up, mm -hmm. right? And so we gotta plan these things. Mm -hmm. And so when COVID, as things start opening up and our mm -hmm. son gets to wear, uh, get used to a mask because he has to wear one when he flies. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, Anyway, with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to have her take a weekend trip back maybe, or we might go together, but mm -hmm. probably her go back with the kids and be able to see family. Mm -hmm. And I get to stay here and we get to miss each other. All right, guys. So as we wrap up here, what were the three areas? The three areas, first and foremost, was breaking the belief that, mm -hmm. that it's not healthy for a relationship when in fact, it's extremely healthy for the relationship. Mm -hmm. And why? Because you want to make sure that you guys are um, coming back even stronger than you were before, mm -hmm. right? The second one was having trust and in, in, uh, the intention of this time, right? It's to fill each other's cups so that you can miss each other, right? And the relationship comes back even stronger and the desire for each other is even greater than it was before. Mm -hmm. And then lastly is you have to plan, you have to schedule it because what gets scheduled gets done. But if you don't plan it, then things will come up. That's just yeah. the way life is. Things show up. So if you guys found value in this video today, give it a thumbs up, please. <laughs> Go ahead and comment below. Let us know, do you guys do time away from each other to make with the intention of it doing better? If not, tell us that you're going to. I wanna know, are you going to start doing it? And is your partner bought in? That would be really cool. And then lastly, subscribe because there's gonna be many more videos. Remember, we're doing three videos a week, all year and beyond to add massive value to you because we know that growing up you know, in our relationship and in our business, business, you know, we wish someone was pouring into us like we're pouring into you guys. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So with that, I'm Joe Moffitt. I'm Christina Moffitt. AKA Team Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys.